Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to install True Combat Elite. Uh, I decided that I wanted to do this video because I was actually having problem, problems myself trying to install it. It was a pain in the ass. So, yeah, if this video helps you out, then don't forget to thumbs up, etc, etc. So, yeah, first of all, you need enemy territory. Wolfenstein, enemy territory, blah, blah, blah. So you need to go to Play Dead and well there should be a little thing here when you go in games drop down and you click on this Play Dead here and you save that and it basically saves instantly and then you're going to download it to there and it opens with Ubuntu software So once it opens, you'll want to obviously install it, and it will ask for your password, like a bunch of software usually does. I won't be showing this because I've actually already done it, so you reinstall. So it will just ask for the password, and then it will basically install the repository, so you'll have lots of more games in your Synaptic or Ubuntu. I think I'm not too sure if it goes into Ubuntu Software Center, but it go definitely goes into Synaptic. So yes, once you install that, you either have the choice of installing from here, where you go install this now, and it will just pop up, or, wait there's password, or you have the choice of just going onto there and typing in sudo apt get install enemy dash territory see it just comes up install and it will install from there whereas this territory you'll have to type in your password obviously and I'm just going to locate package enemy territory that is not good <laughs> so if you come up with that then it, which it usually shouldn't I probably just typed it in wrong Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Usually you just press yes and it installs it for you, but no, I don't want to do that. But yeah, once you've full, got enemy territory fully installed, uh, what you want to do is go to here. I will put the link thing into the description and obviously click on Linux. Then what you usually do is you're supposed to be able to just click it and it just doesn't work. So right click it, save link as, and it should come up here, and save it. So I've already got it here, and usually once it's finished, it's just in a gz file, .gz, and you double click it and it has an error. So instead of doing that, I just rename, just so it's a gz, uh, .run, sorry. Then make sure it's marked as an executable, which it is. Double click, run. And it will look for your enemy territory install. Check if you've got it all installed because you need enemy territory before you. Yeah, see, searching for blah blah blah. It's already installed. Please in install. I've already installed it so I can't exactly show what happens. So yeah, just click. Up there. So once it's installed, you have to come back to here and get the patch. I don't, I'm not sure if that works actually. Yeah, that works. You just click on it. I don't want to do that though. So yeah, once it's installed, it should run. And I've actually installed it into my home directory. I've installed it in a completely different place. So the main difference with actually getting the .run file is that you can just run it from the folder itself whereas usually you have to go inside the enemy territory game, click mods, then TCE test whereas this you can just double click, run and it runs straight away Yeah, but the thing I'm working on at the moment is actually getting the sound working 
which sucks because the sound won't work at all at the moment. If it comes to it, I'll just have to like make a video without the sound, which I don't exactly want to do, and that's asking for a better. But yeah, you get my point. It works from there. So if I if you know how to get the sound working, then please post a comment. Or if I get the sound working, I will post. I will post the link. No, sorry, I'll tell you how to do it in the description. So yes, I hope that helped you to get True Combat Elite working. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to thumbs up. And see you later.